I believe this is day four. Went to Lowe's today, picked up some paint. So we're going to start painting the walls. So I want to get at least the biggest part of the paint on before I put flooring in here. Because I know that if I don't, I'm going to make a mess. But really late start today. I was helping work on a bus till almost noon. Then went to the store, picked up paint. So it's almost 3 o'clock now by the time I'm home. So, I'm going to work at just getting these walls painted up here. Uh, damn it, that's what I was trying not to do. I have to clean that up real quick. I forgot to get a brush to edge with, so I'll have to come back and finish all my edges later or find some painter's tape because I believe that's all still packed for me moving. But, not a huge deal. Hey, high ride wipes right off the ceiling when you mess up. That's nice to know. Anyway, we're just going to really quickly get some paint on the walls today. And I imagine this will probably take more than one coat. This stuff seems to be sucking this paint right up. But get that done real quick, like I said. And then I'll probably start on the flooring tonight and get the bedroom floors put in not worried about having to come back and do a little bit around the edge here. Like I said, I either have to find some painter's tape and a different brush, I think, to do that. But as long as the biggest parts of it are done, I'll be happy because I just don't want to get this on my new flooring. Well, first coat, that's how far my first little tray of paint went. I'm going to get the front edge of my bed and all the places you can see too. And unfortunately, like I said, I forgot to get a small brush so I can't get right up in the edges or anything. But Pour another tray we'll keep working down that wall back side of the shelf is getting done top of the shelf gets done that panel this wall all that stuff's getting done right now i'm gonna try to get that stuff done hopefully let it dry for a little bit while i get these outlets wired up and uh, probably kick the lights on after that and we'll do the second coat i don't know if we have time to start doing flooring tonight or not but if not flooring will start tomorrow Just finishing up my first coat of paint and I hear the distinct scream of a 671 climbing the hill. Alright, so we got the first coat on. Getting ready to start the second one and it's had a little bit to dry. So I did the edge of the bed here because we made the bed frame just a hair bigger than the mattress. So I wanted to be painted where it was going to be exposed. Painted the outside edges of it, painted the legs. Got the walls painted, painted that back corner that's going to be visible. I haven't done any of that stuff yet because I don't think that I'm doing that in the same color. Uh, being metal and stuff, I'll probably just shoot a single stage like automotive paint on them. But I'm thinking I'm going to do maybe a different color to accent the room a little bit. Maybe possibly go darker. Maybe something that has metallic flake. I haven't really decided. Uh, also, might just paint that body color. Whatever color the bus is. Might bring it inside and do it there. I haven't really decided yet, but there's stuff that needs to be done. There's a lot of flaking paint I gotta get rid of. So not married to an idea yet of what color is gonna go back there. But as for the walls, I believe it's called high speed steel. It's the name of this gray. We picked it up today, so first coat's on the walls. I just started getting the second coat on here. This wood sucked that first coat up really quickly. But anywhere I had marks like here with a Sharpie. You can still see it coming through, so we're going to do another coat on it. Same thing, I'm going to work my way around in a way where I kind of paint myself out the door. And uh, once that's done, give it a little time to dry. I'll probably start coming out here and getting all my electrical that's just roughed in right now. Go ahead and finish that out, get the plate covers on. And then uh, we're really ready to start putting down flooring in here. I mean, I've still got trim work to do and stuff like that but i'm not going to go through and do the trim work or the top boards or any of that stuff right now because <laughs> still got a very messy front half of the bus full of building materials to work through so once that's done i'm going to come up here start insulating the ceilings getting the ceilings up will probably be the goal then i'll do the half walls i've got to finish the subfloor for the last few feet up front obviously right here's gonna be the bathroom i gotta get bathroom walls built out there's still quite a bit to do but I'm just trying to get this back room as finished out as I can. And then, you know, keep moving forward from there. 
Bathroom will be next up. I just got the toilet delivered today. Uh, I got all the parts to build my wet bath as far as the drains and the floors. The faucet and shower head will be here tomorrow, I think, or Monday. I can't remember. Uh, RV water pump is on its way. Just a bunch of stuff to do still, but, uh, you know, working through it as we can here. So, the big thing is uh, I'm just going to be happy to have this room done right now. But we'll hurry up and get another coat of paint on, then we'll start doing some wiring. Dad just rolled up on the golf cart and saw how I was painting and goes, Oh, hey, you forgot a paintbrush, didn't you? And I was like, yes, I did. So he just ran to the bus. He had one. So that means I can get all my edging done. It's already looking a lot better. Ha! Now I'm not gonna have gaps. That's already looking so much better. That really makes my OCD happy now. <sighs> now I get to go back through with this and do around the bed and all those little things too. That's really the only place I needed it right now. Everywhere else I can pretty much just roll. But it makes me happy. Now I can get those edges finished up. Edge of that door frame, I'm going to need this too. But this whole wall has been coated twice, that's been coated twice, and that half of the shelf, i got to start rolling the edge of the bed here again. But it's coming along pretty good. That's going to do it for the second coat in here. I went ahead and got the back door mostly closed. i got my ladder leaned up against there so I can't get it closed all the way, but everything now has its full second coat on. I think it's looking pretty good. I don't know that we're going to need a third coat. I'm going to have to wait and see how this stuff dries. I just don't want to see a lot of the wood grain through it when it dries. And I know I might see some over there. I just got to see what it looks like in a little while. I want it to be a pretty uniform color and not really see any of the stuff through it. But we'll see what it looks like. If I do have to do a third coat, I'll do it right before I leave for the night. Make sure the bus is nice and warm when I do so it has all night to dry. I do have a small heater running in here just to make sure that it stays at a warm enough temperature where the paint's going to be okay. But I think now that that's all drying, I made sure that I kind of did these areas first where I got to do electrical. So I'm going to let that stuff kind of set up a little more and I'll probably just hop on this hallway one here. The paint around it is wet, but uh, I've got plenty of room right there where I'm not worried about getting in the wet paint versus, you know, crawling up and working all around wet paint. But we're going to go through and get a few outlets in. Uh... Unfortunately, I didn't buy enough gray ones when I was at the store, so there will be a white one in my room. It's going to be that one back there. But that's going to have a cover over it, like a outdoor style with the flip-up lids. The ceiling ones, just in case I have a drink on that shelf or something. I don't want to spill a drink and have it go in the outlet, so I'm going to use one of those outdoor uh, you know, covers that have the, the little snap lids on them. Then these two are gray ones, so they should... I mean, it's probably not even going to be the same shade of gray, but it'll be a closer color. I like the darker ones. I have face plates for these. I didn't get that plate yet. I haven't gotten a plate for the hallway. I'm going to have to do that at some point, but I keep forgetting when I'm at Lowe's. I've had so much running through my head while I'm there of stuff i got to get that I really need to make a better list. But paint's drying, so that's good. Let's see about getting all these outlets in today, and hopefully maybe get a third coat of paint on today if it's going to need it. If not, I've got some materials i got to get moved out of my truck and in here, and then probably call it a night. It's starting to get dark outside, so I'm guessing by the time i got these outlets in, it'll be dark out. Got the hallway one in. Just got the first one over the bed done. This one is a USB outlet. If you guys have never had those before, those things are amazing. So, got it set up over here, so i got my phone charger and stuff, because... Plan on this is going to be like the headboard side of my bed, so phone charger can lay down here. I've always got my phone nearby because I plan on kind of keeping it on that shelf. Also, a great place to throw like my Olight charger, stuff like that. So, I'm going to climb up here now. Just got those two to do real quick, and then we'll have all the outlets for the bedroom wired up. All right, so all the outlets are in and wired. These two have their face plates on. My flooring is here got my mortar to mix up to kind of do the contour for my bathroom floor when we start on my bathroom. New memory foam mattress got delivered today, so that's ready to go in. 
It's looking pretty good after two coats. The color is a little lighter than I thought. Uh, it looked a lot darker in the store, but I'm not complaining. Worst case, if I don't like it or decide I want to go darker, it's not a big deal to paint back over it. I probably will end up doing a third coat, but I'll probably mess with that later. Uh, it's already dark, and I'm about ready to get some dinner. But it all seems to be pretty well dried up. And uh, like I said, tomorrow we're going to start laying flooring. If you guys are on Patreon, you'll have already seen what the new floor is. I just posted a picture for them to see. I get a sneak peek. Otherwise, tomorrow you guys will be seeing that stuff go in. 